Hello everyone, welcome back. Angela, as always, and always good to spend some time with you. Little ray of sunshine coming up between the clouds. I thought this is the moment to put a recording together to put out a video for today. So I hope you're going to have some fun. Grab that cup and come and follow along with me. Right, I'm working on my book lover's journal. I'm going to do another little project in there today with you. So you can do this in any book or any journal that you're working on. This is my signature that we did a project in the last time. So we, we did that there. So on that same tea stain page, but just on the underside of it, I am putting a little project on here. All right, so I have just stenciled using my Lacy stencil and my milled lavender. I just stenciled a little bit around the corners there really. Um, and then that's perfect for what I'm going to put on in the middle there. So I'm just going to put that to the side quickly, if I can grip it. Yeah, we'll move that up there. Um, now today I'm going to use a lunch bag, paper lunch bag. Um, I love using these. This is my second favorite next to envelopes. Um, this is just one that I got. I think this one I bought from Amazon, so it should be there. Um, the full length of this line like this, it's gusseted all right but it doesn't have to be um is nine and a half inches in length that's about 24 and a half centimeters um and it's 13 centimeters or five inches across there or thereabouts all right anything that's going to fit onto your page is going to work so if it's slightly narrow or whatever that will work you can also trim one down you know so just have a look what you have um, and there you go grab something there right it's not something off many of us do have right now um this one has got this little flappy bit there it's a gusset that doesn't matter if you don't have a flappy bit you can always just create your own with how we're going to work with it all right so what i've done is mine is measuring um just over seven inches and i have folded that over like that i'm looking for my bone folder here it is okay so you just want to fold that over a little bit again you want to make sure it's going to fit on your page that's the key bit there now uh, we're going to use this as a little secret spot um because you can always hide things in there but we're also going to use it for something else so what i decided to do was is to make this multifunctional <laughs> Because why not? So using my book lovers journal pages, there is a mini page that looks like that. All right. I think I've chopped a bit off the bottom there, but that's what it looks like. Now, what I did was I've cut off a piece and I'm swapping these around. So I'm using this piece and I have just fitted it over the bottom here. Now, if you don't have a flap, that's about three inches high and obviously five across. All right. So that's there. Then this bit that's usually underneath here, I'm actually going to turn that around and I'm going to stick it on over there. I wanted the flowers up there. I'm going to cover that bit mostly. All right. This bit we're not going to use today, but it would make a great little card for something later on. So I'm going to put that aside for another day. Okay, so I'm going to stick these down. Now, there's a little bit I want to put in the middle. I've just taken a background page from that kit and I'm going to stick this down over here like that. So we, it's going to fit in there and we're going to stick that down and we're going to stick that down. All right, so let's do that. Grab some glue. All right, so... I hope that you guys are all well. Um, we're getting closer to spring now, so I'm, I'm enjoying it, but I'm, I'm still stuck in uh, winter, <laughs> obviously in my head. And it is still cold here, but you know, it doesn't mean that I'm not having a great time um, crafting along with you guys, and I'm enjoying working on this journal. Okay, so um, I'm going to just get these stuck down quickly now. Okay, so I have just stuck those on ever so quickly. So I've just tucked it in there. And you can just use your bone folder to get that nice and flat. 
in there. I'm not going to cover anything there, but of course you can put on a piece if you want because it is able to lift up, etc. But you could just write on there if you want. It's up to you. Um, and then this one won't really move much. Now, what I wanted to do was I wanted to put some buttons on here. So from my button uh, that I supplied, uh, I've got these two there. Uh, I'm going to use these to make a little closure. And I haven't done this before, but <laughs> you know, there's a first time for everything. So <laughs> let's give it a go. What can I say? So two buttons are required. I've taken this, but it doesn't have to be this color. This is just scrappy bits. I want to just reinforce uh, the paper now so that's what this is for and you're not going to see this anyway so I'm just taking a little circle there now I think um, we're looking at I'm just getting a guide from the flowers here I'm just sticking one on there and I'm going to do the same at the bottom so just getting it in the center and I'm putting this closure on first so that I know when I'm decorating, how to get around those sort of areas. Um, so that's the, the reason for that. Now this one, I want to just, yeah, so we want to get it about there. Okay, right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my little ruler. I've got a small one here. I'm just lining this up on my board, just looking for the center point really and my pencil so i'm just getting the center here and i think with the button you want to just find the spot and move that over a bit so there's the one a little fiddly bit this but i really could do with cutting my nails shorter which is going to happen <laughs> i'm going with shorter nails and my nails are really hard and um, that can be problematic because I broke the one, as you know, and it was so sore. And it puts me off having long nails for a while. So now we're having shorter ones. Okay. So we've got that there. And we've got that there. Okay. Do I want it there? Yeah. Right. So I've met, marked my little positions for the buttons. So all I need to do is take my little piece of foam and I'm going to just yeah it's spot on there I'm going to just put that there and that there and then do the same over here that one went <laughs> looks a bit skew but that's okay one there and one there all right and now I'm going to sew these on so what I've got is some embroidery thread really that's it um and i've got these two little buttons now you don't want to um make this too tight because you want to get some thread around the bottom and i've got some nice hemp uh, thread that i've had let's get that through there so we just want to get these ones on the floor ready <laughs> Yeah, my hands are numb, so I'm not feeling it too well. But anyway, we'll overcome. So you just want to get these sewn on over here. So I'm not going to bore you with every single second of this. But other to say that I'm doing it quite loose. I'm not pulling it very tight, just so that I can get the thread around the button when I need to. So I'm just putting in two stitches like that. And I've got this here. And I'm just going to tie a knot there with that. And you want to just do that for both of your buttons. I could have moved that little pink dot a bit higher, couldn't I? That's okay. All right, so you want to just do that. All right, so you can see I've sewn on that one. I didn't make a knot on this side. Um, and it is, it is quite loose there. But what I'm going to do is I'm just taking a patch, a scrap of paper, just so that I don't have this um, bit impeding, you know, in the way of any ephemera that I might want to put in there. So I'm just sort of like putting a little plaster bit over there. Okay, so that's all I'm doing there. And you can see I've done the same there. 
All right, so there we go. We've got that in place. Now I'm going to put some decoration on here. I'm going to start off with a piece of lace. Um, and I'm going to put the lace on the bottom here, I think. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on some flowers first. All right, so what I decided to do was grab a couple of my die cuts. So I've got one that's this sort of aqua teal color and then a lighter lilac and a mauvey color. And I want to just arrange those um, on the side of it there like that. Okay, so let's do that. I'll do that quickly. Oh, I've been, um, I've got the birds um, fluttering around in the, just below the eaves here at the top of the roof. Um, I can hear them with their little feet and they I don't know what they're doing, but it, they must be starting to feel that it's a warmer day and we're heading to spring. So they're collecting um, bits and pieces and I have been feeding them throughout the winter. So <laughs> I wonder if they think it's spring yet. I mean, I don't see any signs on the trees or anything, but you know, it's not long. It's still a month to go, but you never know. Right, I'm going to just stick that down there. I'm trying not to go over the edges of this one, especially here because, you know, that uh, although it's not a crisis on that end, um, that one I'm going to put on the top and then this one I'm going to stick down below. Okay, so you can see I've just put that one on first, then I added that one and then I put that one on the top there. So just picking up all those lovely colours. I do love the colours. Right, I'm going to stick on the lace now. I do find the mini page is really handy when I'm crafting. So, um, yeah, I encourage you to, you know, use those. If you're not sure how to work, um, resize your digitals, then I do have that video to help you along with that, you know, using the percentage or, you know, depending what type of computer you have. I'm not sure how to do that on a iPad or anything. I've never tried it really, but yeah, that will definitely help you to make the most of your bit of your digitals. All right, we want to chop that off. <laughs> Zoom, it's sprung, sprung over there. Then I have got a little uh, two paper flowers. I colored that one with my milled lavender. I just put it, turned it over and rubbed it in, in the ink. It was a, a plain white one. So yeah, and then I just put another one of the buttons from my uh, button bundle. That's part of that complete book lovers bundle and I do have a couple of those left if you were wanting one now this is just cut out from the pages uh the background pages I'm just trying to show you so for example uh, over there you know go and do that I, I find those elements really handy when you're decorating so I'm going to stick this flower um down quickly just in the corner here like that let me just stick it over on the edge there now this one doesn't really go turn up uh, right down so you can do that and put lace on the bottom here it's not going to affect it and then this little book um but here yeah, i'm going to just put it at the bottom and i thought i'd put it over the lace i tried both but i preferred it over the lace right let's turn that that way so we want to just get that tucked in a little bit like that okay so that's cute hey eh? right what are we going to do here at the top so <clears throat> we're going to do some decorating here as well i've got one of my little sentiments between the pages of a book is my favorite place to be and i do and i was reading some of the quotes earlier and deciding which one i wanted to use and i, I must tell you I hate coming to the end of a novel, especially if it's like an epic six book series or something like that. I don't want the story to end. And I, I tell you, I, I don't know if you guys are like that, but I really, I, I've, I'm i sort of in that book. I'm not a character, but I feel like I am in that time and I hate the story to end. I, I feel like that about Outlander at the moment because um, Tell the Bees That I, I'm Gone was the last book, apparently. 
and um, I then found out, <laughs> I was thrilled to hear this, that in fact um, Diane Garibaldin is making another one. I thought, no, it couldn't end like that. That didn't sound right. And then I was so glad when I found out, no, there is actually one more book. So I'm, I'm waiting in anticipation, Diane. Not that she listens to my channel, but <laughs> you know. Gosh, yes, and I know there are quite a few Outlander fans, but yes, I do love my books. I think my favourite book theme is historical dramas. I do love it. And talking about historical dramas, um, not that this is a book, but I'm sure it is based on a book. I must check next time I look. It is a series called Marie Antoinette. And, you know, I love things, everything French as well, and I'm, I'm going to eventually do a French-themed kit, but... Um, I didn't know Maria Antoinette was actually Austrian. That was news to me. I don't know why I thought she was French. But no, she was the French queen for a time, but she definitely was Austrian. And, you know, every day is a school day. You learn something every day. But, yeah, that was news to me. I didn't take history past 14 years old with my subject choices, but yeah, I'd never realized that. It's just amazing what we, we take for, you know, granted. Right, I just want to take my little distress ink and um and do that. And uh, I've got that little bit of pink uh, die cut there, and I'm going to put this one here. I'm just seeing exactly how I want it. Now this one, I don't want anything to go over the edge there. So I'm going to stick that down there. And then I've got a little bit of this, which is part of, I think this is a hobby craft trim. I'll just trip, cut off one. And then again, from that same page, I fussy cut these two elements, which I'm going to add on here now as well. All right, so let me do that and I'll share that with you afterwards. Okay, so I've stuck that one on top of that one now I've, I've glued all three of these um i've got the little sentiment here i want to take hold of the little scroll so that little scroll with a little bit of a flower there and then i want to just i'm gonna get that there i'm gonna grab the heart i love this heart with the coffee beans and yeah, so we'll get that there. And this one here. There we go. Perfect. I love how that's coming together. Right, and then just this tiny little bit of trim. I want to just put some glue on the back of this. Position this, I think, just over here. Oh, move it over a bit. Okay, so there we go. We'll leave that to dry and do its thing. Okay, let's grip one of these little bitties things here. Just press it down. All right, so there we have um, that bit so far. Now, while that's doing its drying, I've got some hemp cord here. So this I've had uh, for a while. And I thought, oh, yeah, this is the right color. I'm going to use it. Now, in even a natural shade would look great. So, uh, the moment of truth, I'm going to try. Hopefully, I've made this loose enough. So, we want to get that around the button here. Now, this is a great way to to do this um, when you don't have brads. You know, buttons are very lovely to use, like great decorative bits. Right, so then you want to just pull those together. I've just tied a little knot there, so that seems to have worked. And then you want to just tuck it around here like that um, and then we can carry on I'm not going to do the whole thing because I'm going to open it in a minute so we've got that ready to go um, I'm going to see how long I want this and I might trim some off um, and we've got this little bit going on here now because I haven't sewn the button through both bits you are able to um, open this up when it's stuck in your journal as well, of course, and stick anything you want in there. So photographs would fit in there, letters, you know, I love a secret spot. So anything like that. And nobody would be any the wiser. All right. And I like finding little treasures. Can you imagine somebody opening up your journal one day when you're long gone 
and finding all these most beautiful photographs or, or little trinkets or whatever it is that you've chosen to be secret be like a real treasure treasure chest so yeah i do like that idea okay let's stick this into our book page now so all right so now you can actually you know just glue the three sides when you're attaching this and have a place to put a, a card there as well i might do that <clears throat> Or you can just stick it down or lower it, put a tag at the top there. There are many possibilities. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it on three sides. I'm not going to stick a card in there today, but it gives me the option to do so. So I'm going to just put a decent amount of glue on the base, on the side and the top. There we go. Keep it to the close. Oh, so I was telling you about Maria Antoinette. Gosh, that's such a lovely program. So interested to see the portrayal of what happens. Oh, I know what happens, obviously, but, you know, it's always interesting to see it on film. You know, I've always been quite amazed with everything French and... Um, I love history, all history, and so I'm going to enjoy following along. It's really started off well and such a lovely um, characters in there. And gosh, I don't think much cha has changed with the royalty and how they are not felt made to feel welcome and supported. and everything. So, yeah, it was quite something to see. Okay, um, there we go. We've got that on there. Now what I'm going to do is before I close it up, I've got... Um, three pieces that I want to just add so I've got my little postcard I've got my little book so I'm just picking up the colors here and then one of these these are all from my ephemera pack from the the book lovers bliss all right so I'm going to put those in here so we're going to just tuck them underneath here and fit them across there and I can fit them any which way you want so we might just have a bit more of the, the aqua colour coming through there. And then you can close it up. So let's do that. So that one's nice and loose. And then you just want to do your S shape around there. Now I think you can add beads on here. You can do whatever you want to. I'm going to make it end just here. I think for me that's enough and then i'm going to cut it off just there and that's going to be our little project for today right i can go back in its place so that no that's not it <laughs> so let's um it goes like that and then that goes like that and there we go that's the project and how does that, that just brightens up that page nicely, doesn't it? So there we go. And I like the, how the buttons have added to it. All right, everyone, that's our little project today. I was very naughty because uh, the, post of, the post office, the postman rang at my door in between this video here and I did pick up a cream egg to eat. So I'm confessing that. And I've eaten half of it. I gave Abby a treat at the same time. And I've got another uh, half of the cream egg to eat because I'm addicted to those. And I'm trying to pace myself one, is, one a day. All right. Go and have a go at making this. It's going to look great in any theme. Uh, just remember, as I said, if you're wanting a complete Book Lovers Bliss bundle, I did put a, uh, the last few into the shop. So they are there um so go and have a, a look the sale ends um you know uh it's very soon so i think it's got about a day or if not depending from where i've when you see this and when i've recorded this it ends at the end of i think the first of feb or the end of jan i'm um, just i think you can find that there so go and have a look if you're wanting anything um and i'll see you all again on friday i am taking part in rach and bella's um tips and tricks for journaling so um i think mine takes i 
my project is on Saturday or Friday or the Friday video so please go and have a look at that and support everybody as well because it's always great fun um, and so I'll see you on Friday stay well everyone bye